myself Ujjal Boro. Today I am going to discuss about the political thought of Thomas Hobbes in our CVC's syllabus. There are given three important thoughts of Hobbes. There are human nature, the state of nature, and the social contract theory. So, introductions of Thomas Hobbes. Thomas Hobbes was an was an English philosopher from England. Thomas Hobbes was from England. He was known as the founding father of modern political philosophy. He was known as the founding father uh, of modern political philosophy. He is the father of modern political philosophy. He was born in 1588 in England and died in uh, 1679. His famous work, The Sife de Corpore, 1655, uh, it published in 1655, The Humane, 1658, The Leviathan. 1651, Thucydides, 1628, and two essays, Human Nature and the Corpore Politico, it published in 1640, and the last one is Elements of Law. So his first thought, Human Nature. In order to understand Human Nature, Hobbes applied the method of natural science uh, for understanding the human nature uh, hopes applied uh, the method of natural science he had been finally inspired by galileo's theory of motion and earlier scientist newton and then he uh, inspired inspired by the galileo's theory of motion and earlier scientist newton Hobbes wanted evolve a new science of politics. He tried to evolve a new science of politics. He argued that science lead that know the material world and to avoid the supernatural. Supernatural. Science always tried to know about the material world and the, uh, always avoid the supernatural. Hobbes relied on mechanical metallism, metallism of Galileo for analyzing the theory of human nature. Uh, Hobbes uh, relied for analyzing the theory of human nature with mechanical metallisms of Galileo. He also inspired by Euclid's elements, the age of 40. Uh, Euclid's is a name of geometrian and he uh, also inspired by euclid he understood that demonstrable certainty he understood that demonstrable certainty Demonstrable certainty means means the evident fact or truth of evident. Demonstrable certainty through geomet geometrical reasoning. From this, he realized that 
truth can be determined by laying down clear definitions and correct understanding of all their consequences. Then he uh, hopes realize that truth can be determined by lying down clear definitions and correct understanding of all their consequences. Hobbes argued that we may continue from the philosophy nature to the study of politics in three states. Idea of body in simplest from man as a natural body of a particular common well means subversion as a type of artificial body contrived by reason. Philosophical reason deals with causes and effects relationship. Philosophical reason always deals with the causes and the effect relationship. It seeks to visualize effect of the known causes and determine causes of the known causes. Hobbes observed that in the study of natural phenomenon, we can only attain the knowledge of possible causes, but in the study of politics, we are concerned with the study of commonwealth, which is an artificial body of region. Hobbes postulated that, that all nature including human nature could be explained mechanistically. He argued that inner world of man was concerned with quantitative sense experience which was merely subjective. It was not a fit subject for scientific study. On the other hand, outer world was real and objective which could be described in quantitative terms. It is therefore a fit subjective of scientific method. Then understanding of human nature by Hobbes. Hobbes argued that nature, man and society all should explain in terms of motion. In terms of motion, we can explain nature, man and society. Society. Man is one creature who like other creatures and physical objects. Man is also a creature like other and physical objects. He is always moving. He is engaged in continual activity. Man is always engaged in a continual activity. Man is continually driven by his desire or appetite. To gain power over others. Men always try to gain power over others. For him, everything other thing, creature or human being is a means for satisfaction. Satisfaction. Creature or human beings. For him. For hopes. Every other thing. Creature or human being is a means for satisfaction. Hence, society is also a means and not an in. Appetite is the driving force behind man's struggle for power. Appetite is the driving force behind man's struggle for power. In Hobbes view, man is neither a social animal nor a political animal, but only an isolated base or loneliness base or a purely egoistic creature every individual is the captive means a binder every individual is the binder of the motion binded by the motions of his mind which in turn are reflections of the appetites of his body and uh, he ref uh, his reflections is his or her desire or appetite of his body in this analysis Hobbes closely follows Galileo's footsteps who held that all complex motion are derived from simple motion. 
in social sciences this model of analysis is known as reductionism in hobbes analysis political actions are sought to be explained in terms of physiological actions and further reduced to physiochemical actions which are simplest to understand the mechanical model adopted by hobbes implies that both natural and political worlds should be understood essentially as mechanics in the model uh, in the model adopted by the hobbes he argued that both natural and political worlds should be understood essentially as mechanics by the use of mechanism we can understand natural and political worlds in mechanical world the whole is always some to tell of its part on this analogy on this similarity society or state is only an aggregation of individual that compose it society or state is only aggregations of human or only aggregations of individual that human compose it they are joined together by mechanical unity and uh, society and the uh, society or state and hu uh, individual are joined together by mechanical unity because its parts retains retains means to keep attentively uh, its original self and it can be replaced by similar part host maintain that functioning of civil government should be understood like that of a watch means because government itself is a mechanical device similar to a watch with controlled movements thank you for watching please subscribe my channel Thank you so much.